Hi there Pisces and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of December the 17th through to the 23rd. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Pisces. First up, we have the Six of Cups in the upright, followed then by the Five of Cups reversed. And next we have the Ten of Pentacles in the upright, followed then by the Seven of Wands reversed. And lastly, we have the Ace of Pentacles in the upright. I'm going to go ahead and interpret this reading for you guys. First of all, Pisces, for your overall energy, you have that of the Six of Cups in the upright position. Beautiful, beautiful energy. I think Gemini got this too. Uh, this is really nice to have as your overall, you know, coming towards the holiday uh, weeks ahead. Um, this is beautiful energy. It could be some of you are getting together with people you haven't seen in a while. Could even represent a past love that maybe um, you lost touch with and this person is coming back. This is the soulmate card after all. This could be representing a, a, a good friend that you haven't seen in a long time or even family members perhaps that you haven't been able to spend a lot of time with. This is really good energy. The Six of Cups is about remembering things from the past. When we get together with people and having positive memories, the card is in the upright. So you're really having fond memories, maybe talking over old times with them. Very good energy for the week. Now, coming right into um, the week, we have the energies of the Five of Cups in the reverse position. The Five of Cups upright, this can represent uh, sorrow, loss, um, disappointment, sort of uh, dwelling more on what we've lost instead of realizing what we still have, uh, you know, the two cups behind him. When it's in the upright position, this can sometimes indicate it's a, a fresh situation that just happened. When it's in the reverse, there's some healing beginning to happen here. For some of you, maybe someone from the past comes along and helps you to heal uh, something that was very uh, sad for you, uh, very difficult for you, or a lot of disappointment. Maybe somebody from the past is there to comfort you or help you in some way. So very good energy, very healing uh, coming into the week. And it's paired up with the next card you have, the Ten of Pentacles in the upright position. This is beautiful energy. This can represent financial abundance, uh, security, or an abundance of security or even material things. Perhaps some of you are being lavished. Uh, it is, you know, holiday time, so maybe some of you are being lavished, um, given gifts of inheritance, of uh, finance, like maybe somebody's giving you some money for the holidays, for Christmas. Uh, others of you, this could represent maybe you just got a pay raise. Um, more money is coming into the household. Maybe your spouse got a pay raise or it could be someone, one of your children living in the home with you. Maybe they got a job and they're making money and contributing to the household. For others of you, it's just representing having a good time, feeling really secure and really stable in your jobs, in your homes. Very stable energy, really, really nice. Now, moving on towards the weekend, we have the energies of the Seven of Wands in the reverse position. The Seven of Wands, I do like this energy more so when it's inverted as opposed to upright. When it's upright, we're kind of on guard. We're waiting to see what other people are gonna think of what we're doing or what we've said, and we're protecting ourselves, protecting our privacy, protecting another person. When it's in the reverse position, we're sort of releasing that. Maybe for some of you, because you're starting to heal now, you're having some really good memories now of the past and you're feeling really good about things. So you no longer feel defensive. Uh, like you have to defend yourself or protect yourself. A lot of you could just be letting down your defenses. A lot of you could be no longer wishing to protect another person anymore. So very good energy there. And the last card you have up is the Ace of Pentacles in the upright position. Aces always represent new beginnings. I see you have the Ten of Pentacles here and the Ace of Pentacles. So this could uh, sometimes represent a new opportunity. It could be a business opportunity. It could be an opportunity for a new home or a new apartment that's very affordable. It can represent, uh, say, if you're going to buy a home, 
this particular property could uh, gain a lot of dividends over the years. You know, it's a good investment for some of you. This does represent actual investment. Maybe you'll have an opportunity to invest in something that could bring big dividends down the road. Uh, for others of you, again, this ca card can represent inheritance. You've got two cards here of inheritance. So if that's the case, Pisces, you'll have to leave a comment in the comment section below. Maybe some Pisces are coming into some money this week. It's very nice if that's the case. For others of you, like I said, this could just be representing new beginnings in security, job security, home security, or financial security. Great reading here, Pisces. I hope this reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.